Here we are to do a big review on this movie. Now, I just want to laugh my ass off because this is going to be a big one. Wild things. Why did people watch this movie? Because you can see... Let me get it right. You can see... Uh, let me get her name right. Denise Richards' boobs in the movie. <laughs> That's why people watch it. That's my best guess. Because the movie really was terrible. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be though. It did have some point of immense mystery in it. it like to figure out who did what. How they were going to get the money from accusing someone of being a rapist in, in the school. And, and all that kind of other stuff. But um, I got to tell you. These movies... These they, these movies are worth what they are. I think I paid maybe a 50 cents or a dollar for it. Um... It's a rated R movie. That's how you can show nudity the way they did in this movie. It was in a sex scene, so that's why. Obviously, it's not X-rated, but I'm just saying. Um, it was made in 1998. I get these all wrong because I always read the dates wrong. Um, that's when the movie came out. All right, here's what I really wanted to say, though, was the, the way they're charging it. Now, I for me to buy for 50 cents a dollar, that's all this movie is worth any day of the week. There's no way anyone can convince me it's worth any more than that. No one can convince me it's worth watching it in a better format. This is where it belongs. That's why I buy a lot of VHS tapes, because I don't want to watch crappy movies and spend $50 on them. This had a DVD, which I almost bought because I couldn't find this. And I wanted to watch it to get a good laugh. I finally found it down here. Um, they have a DVD, which kind of made me laugh my ass off, um, but I, I could have bought it. I don't know if it had the case. It was like five or six bucks, maybe eight bucks altogether. That's still way too much for a movie like this. Then there was the, it had to have been a Blu-ray. I forgot what the price on that was. I think it was like twenty, twenty-five dollars which was ridiculous. Then the 4K hit me with this movie. I couldn't understand how you could charge... $37 for a 4K of this lousy movie. And, and then I said to myself, um, the only explanation can, can be that it's from a boutique kind of place. And even then, how do those people make any money if you sell crappy movies at $38 a pop? Do you say the price could go down? Maybe it could. Why isn't the price down is beyond me. Because of the nudity and the boobs, I told you. Those kind of movies, no matter how bad they are, people watch them. And that's why they are always up there in price. This movie was absolutely horrible. Who is this other woman in it? Not really just her name up here. Neve Campbell. You know, she kind of looks like um, Kate Mara a little from, um, from a distance. Bill Murray was the only one there. Now that I see his name here. Bill Murray was the only one that made the movie somewhat watchable. I mean, he's always good to watch. He's a fun appearance, but... Um, other than that, there was nothing here. I don't see how anyone could disagree with me on this. Um, you don't certainly want to spend more than 50 cents or a dollar on this. Bye-bye.